Hi all, I am Rishmi Elias from Freshersworld.com. In today's video also, we will be dealing with the topic counting your figures, which is one of the most important topics for all the competitive exams like railways, SSE, etc. This video is sponsored by an academy and after a small video, we will start our classes. If your New York goal is to improve your coding skills, clearing fundamentals, become better at problem solving or get placed. An Academy with Courtship has brought you the best of resources to help you achieve those goals. So listen carefully. Here, you have access to free classes from educators who themselves have done the journey you want to do or are on that road. Top educators to name Sanket Singh, Tanuj Katar, Pulkit Chabra, Ria Bensal, Nishchai Manwani. These people have some of the things that you want to and some of them are doing what you want to do. So they are the best people who you can learn from. With these, you have many, many free classes which are sure to benefit everyone from an absolute beginner to people who know coding and want to become even better. Next, we come to Pinnacle 2021 Batch by an academy taken by Pulkit starting on 18th January, which is a one-year-long structured and goal-oriented batch. Here, we will start learning all about data structures before moving on to topics like greedy algorithm, number theory, recursion and DP, discrete mathematics, to name a few. You can check out the full schedule and batch preview by clicking on the link given below or just post this video for a bit and check here itself. It's high time you invest smartly in structured learning, free courses and paid subscription by an academy and Codechef. So watch their brilliant free lectures first and treat them as a test drive before committing to a subscription. Next batch starts on 18 Jan, so start learning now. And another important thing is that the subscription is in such a way that when you pay, you pay for all the paid content and not just one or two batches. So do not wait, enroll now and start learning. Let's see the first question. So in this figure, we are asked to find out the total number of triangles. So in the middle part, we are able to see two base figures which are combined together. So we know how to calculate the total number of triangles in this base figure. What we have to do? Consider the first base figure. Now take in a diagonal and start numbering. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 triangles are the inside. So what we have to do? Just multiply with 2. Then we'll, we will get the total number of triangles in this base figure. So 4 into 2, 8 triangles are the. Now consider the second part which is at the bottom here also eight triangles will be the now at the intersection two triangles will be formed one is this and the other one is this so in total at the middle part 8 plus 8 16 plus 2 18 triangles will be the now consider the two triangles a f e and b c d Know that this is another base figure we know how to calculate the total number of triangles in this base figure also here we have to see for the number of bases that is one two two bases are the so just add these one plus two three three triangles will be formed in each of the triangles so in total six triangles will be formed now here also there are intersections and the Two triangles each will be formed. That four triangles are shown here. So the total number of triangles in the given <laughs> figure will be 18 plus 6 plus 4. 24 plus 4 is 28 triangles. Now let's see the next question. This is the figure. Here we have to find the total number of squares. You are able to see three squares with equal number of rows and columns. We have already learned that if the number of rows and columns are 2, then the total number of squares in this figure will be 1 square plus 2 square. That is 1 plus 4, 5. Similarly, in the other two squares also, the number of squares will be 5 each. So in total, how many squares will be the 5 into 3? 15. And other than this, two more squares are the that is being shown here. One is this and the other one is this. So in total, how many squares will be the 15 plus 2? 17. Next question. 
So in this figure, we have to find the total number of triangles. So here, what we have to do, we will see from one end, this is a base figure with two bases. So the total number of triangles will be 1 plus 2, 3. Now the next figure is this. And here we know how to find the total number of triangles. What we have to do, take any diagonal and start numbering. Whatever number we get, multiply it with 2. Here there are 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 triangles are there. So the total number of triangles in this figure will be 4 into 2, 8. Next figure is again a triangle with 2 bases. So how many triangles will be there in this figure? 1 plus 2, 3 triangles consider the next figure. We have already seen that there are 8 triangles in this figure. Okay, next one is a triangle with 2 bases. So the total number of triangles in this will be equal to 3. So from these base figures we got the total number of triangles as 3 plus 8, 11, 11 plus 3, 14, 14 plus 8, 22, 22 plus 3, 25. Now we have to see the intersections. How many triangles will be formed at the intersections? So this is one triangle, this is the second triangle, this is the third triangle and this is the fourth triangle. So we got 25 plus 4, 29 triangles from the top part. Now in the bottom part we can see three triangles and all the three triangles have two bases each. So the total number of triangles in one single triangle is 3. So total 3 into 3, 9 triangles will be formed. Now we have to see for the combination. So here 2 triangles are formed. On top of this again 2 triangles are formed. That is being shown here. Above this again we can see 2 triangles that is being shown here. And finally one last triangle which is shown with green color. So here 7 more triangles are formed. So in total... There are 29 plus 9, 38, 38 plus 7, 45 triangles are there. So with this we are coming to the end of this topic. Hope you understood how to solve these questions. So wish you good luck and thank you.